in this video I'm going to show you how to issue a copyright strike using the copyright tool from YouTube against channels that you believe have stolen your content and re-uploaded without your permission. I'm also going to show you some tips how to potentially protect from this happening in the future or at least reduce the occurrence. This is going to be the shorter version of yesterday's live stream on YouTube where I was showing the audience for the first time how to use the copyright tool. The Nerf Gamer, at least I didn't do a PC build like the <laughs> the verge oh man do you know what i regret not doing a review of the verge but after the live session i found out not just 10 but 50 extra videos that they stole from me let's check it out Hey Nim Techs and welcome, this is Ash from Hilmine Tech and on this channel I want to help you develop a better relationship with technology so find the subscribe button, click on it and click the bell icon and use my Amazon affiliate links in the description below to help out the channel. The copyright match tool isn't available for everyone, I think it's just for those who have the YouTube partner program but I don't know if there's any other criteria. If you do have the tool you need to go to your YouTube studio and then to the third before last you can find the copyright tab, just click on that. It's going to take you to this window whereby it's going to give you a list of all the videos that YouTube has automatically detected, especially if it's a, like a clone copy and re-uploaded without any changes. Once you're here, you can view at the moment a maximum of 50 videos. So from there, you can uh, find the list and how much of the percentage of the video is a match. In my case, it's 100% of the video. And the weird thing is 48 of these is just the USB device over current status detected system video, which we've talked about before. So Selecting the first video, you're going to have three options, archive, request removal, or contact the channel. Archive means you just don't want to deal with it, so you just put it away. Request removal is you go through YouTube to request a copyright strike or give them a seven day notice or contact channel which means you can send a template message to the channel through YouTube but in my case we've already discussed it in our live session we're going to be selecting the request removal and it's going to be a remove now so I don't think there is a way to bulk select all of it so we're going to have to just do it the old-fashioned way going down and uh, that's a bit tedious but I guess if you want to deal with this that's what you're gonna have to do but I'm gonna be careful here I think there's one video that I've seen which is not the USB device it's a different one so I'm going to deal with that one separately because for that one I may just send them a contact request which is this one the AMD dual graphics setting so I'll deal with this one later this seems to be a separate one but the rest should be the same which is weird oh I've got a different one here computer turns on but no display again I'll leave that one and there we go I think I've selected all of them now let's go to request removal I have some details here left from before so I'm going to blur this part but you're going to have to fill out the details as much as possible and as accurate as possible under name of copyright owner here you can put your channel name or another representative name but when you do sign it at the bottom you're gonna have to put your actual legal name once you fill in the first part of the form you're gonna have a list of videos which are being uh, copyrighted so you can actually now still delete them if you don't want to deal with them right now or you don't want to deal with them uh, this request but I am going to deal with all of it because it's the same video and you can scroll down. Now here you're going to have two options for the removal timing. You can send a seven day notice or request removal now. Obviously it is up to you to decide if you feel it is a genuine mistake or it's just a young kid who's trying their luck on one of their channels. You can send them a notice after obviously trying to contact them directly through YouTube or through their channel. So that's up to you to make that judgment call. In my case, I've already seen the evidence. We are going to be doing a standard request removal now because these people or guys or bots are definitely you know, spamming my content and uh, basically stealing my content and reposting on so many. By now, it's 48 different channels. It's ridiculous. So we're going to request that. And then you need to tick these legal agreements, which essentially means you are genuine. You are the copyright owner. You're not trying to con anyone or YouTube you're not making false representation because that will bounce back against you and here in the signature box you need to put your actual legal name which is your first name and your last name that should suffice after you've done this you can give a last check if you wish and then up here you need to click on submit 
Okay, good news is that they have directly removed these from the channel copyright section. Doesn't mean it's been dealt with yet, it just means it's gone under review and you're gonna get an email mm. to confirm that. If your request was successful, you're going to get an email from YouTube to thank you and to say that the content has been removed. You will also be given an option to take back your claim of copyright infringement at any time if you change your mind, which I think is really good because sometimes it could be a misunderstanding if the person has got back to you and they're genuinely apologetic because everyone deserves a second chance. But right now I'm left with these two that I'm going to deal with separately. I probably will just send them a kind of contact really and truly. Because if you can see um, the first one, they've got three subscribers and uh, he's taken my AMD Geographic setting. And then the other one, uh, zero views, one subscriber. So those ones are probably okay. They're just like a little mistake, which is fine. I'm going to contact them separately, which we can do here. Uh, let's just click on this and click on this now you can't select more than one if you want to contact the channel you can have to do one at a time so I'm going to do the first one here so let's do contact channel and uh, this is the template and it's going to put my email address here so right now this is like a you know typical standard template letter to be sent to this person through YouTube just asking them to take it out and you just need to click on send so that's gone and then uh, the last one will do that as well same thing contact channel and click on send and there you, we've got it so everything is cleared at the moment so i'm hoping there is no more but you never know i'll keep checking this regularly there are a few things you can do to protect yourself from these problems or at least to diminish the occurrence one way is to go to youtube studio go to your video section and then go down to each video that you want to protect and uh, go to the details section now next to the basic tab there is also more options click on that and the first thing you need to make sure to select is standard youtube license which is the default anyway now there is another option which is called creative commons attribution this essentially gives anyone the license permission to reuse your content and re-upload there are some conditions like they have to give you credit but if you do not have it selected as standard youtube license but you have it as creative commons you will probably not not be able to argue copyright problems because you've been given permission for your material to be reused okay so that's up to you if you want to do that or not and the next thing you may want to consider at the bottom you've got additional options and usually allow embedding is not ticked so if this is ticked it will allow any website even your own one to play back your YouTube video now essentially it still counts as a view on your YouTube view and video but it will give that website traffic and I know this is a problem for many of us including myself I haven't done anything about this one yet but at the moment I'm not allowing embedding for some of the videos so that's really for you to decide okay some other things you could potentially do is leave a watermark on your video and also show your face maybe occasionally and also so clearly have some audio whereby your name is being said and your voice is very easily identified now this in and of itself is not going to stop people from downloading and re-uploading because they can always edit your watermark and edit the audio and footage however it's going to make it quite difficult for them to do because usually sometimes these are bots that's doing this automatically one thing to bear in mind is that uh, they can still download your video and then tweak it slightly to make sure it's not detected by the youtube algorithm and that is they can change the speed playback and then re-upload at a different speed they can even add some extra audio effects or remove the audio completely and put a like a different track on there so it's not completely foolproof so the other thing probably to do is to go to YouTube and type in the title of your video and browse through and usually keep an eye and also make sure you're checking the copyright tool tab occasionally I have not done this for this channel and I don't know why but that's the problem I never thought that my content would be stolen because come on in comparison of the huge YouTube platform, I'm no one here. I've got nothing. Yeah, some videos are doing okay, but there are bigger channels who are doing far better and have a lot more interesting videos. That just go to show some people will go to any length to steal anything and everything, even your dirty underwear hanging on your washing line. 
you know what I'm saying? So if you want to ask me questions, a very good way is to join our live session every Thursday, which is at 5 p.m. UK time, 12 p.m. EST, or you can leave me a comment below, just do your thing. So if you want to improve your relationship with technology, don't forget to subscribe and check out this awesome video up here and also this one down here to go from newbie to techie. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, <laughs>